A circle is a shape that consists of points that are equal distance from the center. This is important to know since the distance from any point on the circle to the center will be the same as any other. The diameter of a circle is any straight line that passes through the center and has endpoints that lie on the circle. Diameter is used for formulas such as circumference. The circumference of a circle is the distance completely around the circle. We can use the diameter in the circumference formula pi times diameter to find that circumference. It is also the longest chord in a circle which we will dis discuss later. The radius of a circle is any straight line that has an endpoint that lies on the circle and goes to the center. It is always half of the diameter. Radius can be used in formulas such as area. The area formula for a circle is pi radius squared. It is also an important measurement in circle geometry. The chord of a circle is any straight line which endpoints lie on the circle. The diameter is a special case of a chord. The diameter has endpoints on either end of the circle and passes through the center. The radius, however, is not a chord since both endpoints do not lie on the outer end of the circles. A tangent is a straight line that touches an object at only one point. Tangents touching a circle will create a 90 degree angle with the radius of that circle. Here is the radius of the circle. From the center to the tangent will generate a 90 degree angle. We now having a 90 degree angle, we can use principles such as the Pythagorean theorem to solve problems. An arc of a circle is the, the section of a, the circumference created by two points. With these two points, two arcs are created, a minor arc and a major arc. These are related and can give us information about the angle measurements for certain lines.